Hi there, Debbie from LB Creative here. I thought with this um, lockdown, you know, people may be struggling a little bit with um, things to do. You're probably bored. Your house is as clean as it's ever been. Um, so I thought I'd go back to my roots and do some um, simple how to's that Blue Peter inspired really. I always wanted to be a Blue Peter presenter. Um, so basically, um, we've also got a few issues with, with lots of rubbish piling up, etc. Now, personally, I, I, I get my milk delivered in glass bottles, which is fabulous um, from the fabulous cool um, brothers. Um, but I do have some plastic uh, bottles here. And I thought rather than just bin them, you know, you can make something out of them. If you've got children, it's great to do with them. Um, and you know what? It doesn't matter what age you are. It's something to do. It's, um, it's you know, saving plastic from going into um, the rubbish tip um, or the incinerator. So, you know, just have a bit of fun, a bit of something different. Um, so basically, I'm going to show you how to make um, a little shovel. Um, which can be used for anything. I decorated that just with sharpies, and you're literally going to need a pair of scissors, um, a standing knife if you've got one, some sharpies, or just one sharpie, a clean, um, dry plastic bottle. So you can take the lid off or leave it on. I'll pop that there for a second. And you will find it's because it's a sharpie this won't come off so you know if you want it super neat uh, you're going to need to do something else with it i will be doing another video um going back again to my, my roots my paper roots doing some uh, decoupage show you how to do that if you've not done that before i'm just going to do a very simple doesn't have to be straight we're not after perfection almost all my students will tell you i'm never after perfection okay so I've just made it a little bit longer there, so we're going to make it into a scoop. Do you know what? You can use it for all sorts of things um, in the garden, um, you know, for your soil. You can use them as long as you, you know, obviously thoroughly sanitise them and dry them. You can use them, you know, for like dog food, flour, whatever you want, really. Your fats, I think it'd be great if you could give me some ideas, you know, send some ideas in, um, make a comment at the bottom of the, um, of the, the video. Uh, and I'd love to see photos, you know, on my Facebook page of what you get up to because you can guarantee you are going to come up some, with some amazing ideas. You've got lots of time to think things up. So come on, let's get those creative juices going. Now, I would generally use a blade for this, but um, I'm trying to do things with with things that people have lightly got in the house and not everybody's got a standing knife uh, or you know to hand and the easiest way to do this but you, you need to do it safely is just snip there we go and once you're in and you're keeping away from your hand you don't want to be going into your uh, into your hand once you've actually got a hole in there just just trim round go as neat as you can there's no rush we've got loads of time obviously it's like watching paint dry or somebody cut a plastic bottle if you're watching me do it neat so I'll, I'll just go fairly quickly just so that you've got the idea haven't you i mean this bit's not rocket science just take your time okay now what you can do this now is reminding me of that video that you know there's a fabulous one on facebook the other day where a woman was doing um what was it how to make a mask and it was <laughs> Oh, bad, but it was so brilliant. I think this is going to go that direction very soon. Um, now, what you can do is just trim, make it nice and neat. Make sure there are no sharp corners on it. Um, like I said, if you take your time in the first instance, you won't have to do this. So you won't have these little bits of plastic that, that you've then got to dispose of. But that said... You know, that amount of plastic rather than the full bottle is better um, to be getting rid of, isn't it? So we've got this little bit here. So I'm going to trim this off. Just make it a bit neater. Like I say, no shot. Because it is plastic. It's, it's funny, you can give you nasty scratch. We don't want any nasty scratches. So there we go. And do you know what? <laughs> 
stick your pens in it, stick anything in it, it's fabulous. Um, now, what you can also do with this um, is, if you've got a hole punch, stick a couple of holes in it. There we go. And if you've got some string to hand, I've not got any string, but I've got this, this cord that was left over from when I was using, um, doing my glass decorations. So you want to have a knot in it. If you've got a longer piece, you can double it up. But you just want to make sure the knot's gonna, not going to come out. There we go. Oops, like that. So you want to make sure it's big enough. There we go. So we'll triple knot it. I feel as though I should have a large glass of gin in front of me right now. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if that's going to be do it. Yay! There we are. You can see I've not thought this one through, can't you? Right. Come on. Several knots on this one. I know this, um, I know we're not at Christmas, but this, these are what my Christmas robins. So if you've got a nice, you can, you know, you can hang these up. Um, and actually what's good about these, you could do several of them and you can poke some holes in the bottom. You can seed up, you know, put some seeds in them and get some veggies on the go, whatever. So it's something else to do with the base. And then you've got your little shovel, little scoop. It's fabulous. Um, and in true blue Peter style, here is one I did earlier. I think you can create some fabulous designs on this. I mean, I just may mess about with some Sharpies. So give it a go and then get um, get them on my Facebook page. And let's have a giggle. Let's have a bit of fun and see what we can do with a plastic bottle. Um, I'm going to be doing something in a few days. Um, send me suggestions in. You know, I mean, challenge me. What can I make out of something that you think nobody else can make something out of? So challenge me, send something in and let's see what we can do and have a giggle while we're at it. Okay, bye.